The New York Times reports that United Airlines is defending its decision not to let three girls board a plane because they were wearing leggings. The decision created a social media frenzy after a woman at the airport tweeted about it. Several celebrities strongly criticized the airline. Actress Patricia Arquette wrote, Do you understand that you have just made at least half of your customers very unhappy? Comedian Sarah Silverman threatened to change all her flights to other airlines. And William Shatner posted a picture of himself. <laughs> wearing some leggings. All right, Mr. Shatner. Oh. Very confident young man. Chris Van Cleve is at the United <laughs> Counter at Reagan National Airport near Washington, D.C. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Now, these girls were flying on what's known as pass travel, essentially flying for free as relatives of a United employee. And because of that, they're subject to a stricter dress code than your average flyer. But by the time the airline explained that, the Internet was in full outrage mode. And that has some saying the airline's response is a textbook example of how not to deal with a Twitter crisis. United's trouble started Sunday morning when a gate agent in Denver told the family of a young girl they could not board their flight to Minneapolis unless she covered up or changed her leggings. Another passenger flying to Mexico witnessed the commotion. We heard her say, look, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. And Shannon Watts has four daughters. She's also a high-profile gun control activist with more than 33,000 Twitter followers. I don't think leggings are inappropriate for women or for girls. And this, this young girl who was 10 or 11 looked like a normal little kid. Watts, who says two other teenage girls were also denied boarding, tweeted, Since when does United police women's clothing? The airline replied that it had the right to turn away passengers who are barefoot or not properly clothed. Other Twitter users received a similarly brief response. They seem to be arguing uh, with people, including celebrities on Twitter, about this issue. When the social media controversy mushroomed into unflattering headlines, United's communication staff went into crisis mode. On Sunday afternoon, the company revealed the affected passengers were flying under a special program for United employees. That program has a dress code banning form-fitting Lycra spandex tops, pants, and dresses. United stresses regular paying customers who wear leggings were welcome on their planes. So they bungled this one. Frank Washkush, PR Week's news editor, thinks the airline waited too long to get the full story out. He also said its tweets came across as defensive and uncaring. It's a really difficult job, and some companies do it very well, and some companies are still learning. Other airlines have similar policies. They view employees and their families traveling as pass flyers, as representatives of the airline when they're on board the airplanes. Now, one of the girls was allowed to board the flight after she changed her clothes. The other two were offered seats on a later flight, provided they were in line with company policy. Margaret? Chris, thanks. You wonder if they knew that that was the company policy. Oh, the, the kids who were on the that? kids. Yeah, but it, it seems like the United's getting hammered. But if you have a dress code policy and your dress code policy is stated, mm -hmm. maybe they need to rethink the dress code policy since everybody wears leggings. But I think it's wrong for them to get hammered when this is your dress code policy. Well, and what they thought say? it's different for employees or in their friends yeah. as it is from regular paying so customers. There's always two sides to every story.